Hey, good evening, everyone. This is another session on palmistry, and we will continue the series of mythologies and important stories around the different planets. Now, one of the important planets is also Venus. Venus is known also uh, for its a lot of wisdom and knowledge, and especially its ability to revive someone after death. So, we'll talk about all the mythology, how Venus got its power what does it signify and all of those stuff now obviously venus represents uh, a very uh, bright sort of a color it indicates beauty it indicates uh, you know um, very good presence it indicates sophistication refineness beauty because venus was known for uh, the beauty and uh, uh, you know the beauty and the charm so that sort of thing is associated with venus but Venus also was involved in a lot of mythology. So one of the important mythologies was when uh, basically Shukra, also known in Hindu mythology, and uh, basically Virgu had gone out and uh, Kavya Mata was the, so Kavya Mata, uh, who's the mother of Venus or Shukra was there. And uh, what has happened is that um, uh, Kavya Mata, what her, she has given, she has given, shelters to asuras right asuras are nothing but you can take it as uh, people who are in constant fight with the devas uh, devas are nothing but the kings so yeah so asuras had come and they wanted shelter and that's where kavya mata just allowed the shelter of the home and uh, you know meanwhile the devas the vishnus and all the gods were looking after you know where the asuras have gone and uh, finally what has happened is uh, kavya mata basically you know the general understanding that was there at that point was that if anyone is coming to your home you should always welcome them treat them well and that's where kavya mata allowed them and uh, treated them well but obviously uh, vishnu and the other gods got infuriated they got to know what was going on uh, but uh, Kavya Mata also had a lot of, um, you know, advanced uh, spiritual gifts because of which they, she, uh, she could make all the devs go into sleep, go into a state of trance and she continued to protect all the uh, Asuras, right? Uh, but then what happened finally, Vishnu understood what's going on and uh, took out the uh, chakra and... Uh, tried and tried breaking the shield of the home and that's what happened the shield or the protective layers of the home got broken and the chakra went and killed uh, you know kavya mata uh, meanwhile obviously shukra and virgu returned back and they saw the death uh, of uh, virgu saw the death of his wife and and this infuriated them and uh, that's how you know basically uh, the enemy ship between uh, venus and jupiter because venus is nothing but shukra and jupiter is nothing but vishnu's avatar so that's where the enmity between both of them rose uh, because uh, you know uh, basically vishnu lost uh, the mother now it's believed that post that virgu did a lot of chantings virgu did a lot of meditation and was able to uh, get uh, kavya mata alive again and and that is that is also the story that actually eventually kavya mata came back to life but obviously this created a lot of tension between vishnu uh, or jupiter uh, and shukra and that's where even in astrology even in you know palmistry when there is a combination of these two there can be a tricky situation that can get created because uh, essentially these both energies don't like each other right and this is one of the story the other story of course is where uh, shukra uh, or uh, you know venus also wanted to gain a lot of power and and that's where it did um, you know uh, a lot of chanting towards shiv and finally shiv gave him the power of reviving people from dead okay so that knowledge was given uh, to shukra it was only later when shiv got to know that uh, that shukra was using this knowledge to actually uh, revive the asuras and this again infuriated shiv because uh, the the you know uh, shukra was not using uh, the spiritual gift wisely and uh, again it was taken away 
but over overall shiv had a, had accepted shukra as uh, as the son or as the follower and then their bond over times have improved and that's where it's believed that uh, shukra continues to have a lot of uh, you know uh, a lot of uh, the uh, so called spiritual gifts that was granted uh, through shiv so these are some of the stories in which shukra was involved so it's always seen that shukra protected or is seen as a protector of asuras it's also seen that uh, you know shukra or the venus is also given the the spiritual gift of reviving people from death and it's also because shiv was so happy with the uh, with the tapasya or the meditation that shukra did that uh, eventually shiv also granted the boon that if something good has to happen some celebration has to happen then venus is required for that so it uh, basically became a very bright set uh, you know the bright planet which can be seen even in the day time so that uh, boon was given through shiv that even in auspicious ceremonies birthdays celebrations uh, you know shukra will play a very big role so that is the basically mythology around venus but largely speaking if we if we think about from what venus represented venus represented beauty it represented uh, you know relationships it represented uh, refinedness it represented family it represented taking care of family because obviously you know uh, venus tried to take care of the family or wanted was very infuriated when you know venus uh, venus a mother was killed so obviously venus is seen as that family related person very home related person and also someone who takes care of the home family kids and all of that thing so that's where venus is very essential for a fam- good family life for beauty for uh, also you know a lot of health issues venus can be used because obviously venus was given the the you know the ability to revive people from dead and also venus is known for its sophistication charm beauty intelligence to some extent and uh, these were some of the characteristics and the mythology related to venus but obviously venus has a difficulty with jupiter does not go along with it very well because of the past uh, you know the stories that went through so yeah this is the mythology around venus hopefully you got few more understanding uh, from this video connect venus in that sense whenever you're looking into someone's palm if venus is not doing well there can be issues with respect to home life family life children relationships luxuries because venus is also very rich uh, there there's a possibility of skin related issues because venus also represented beauty uh, venus if not well formed then there can be you know issues with respect to beautification and stuff like that most of the successful actor actresses um will have a very strong venus and uh, that's where the beauty god you know takes the role so hopefully you got few more understanding from this video on shatank into palmistry do check my channel for more till then take care have a brilliant day bye bye